Now in other news tonight, a Wabash Valley church is working to bring affordable food to area families, no matter what their income. Grace Chapel in Brazil is offering healthy food options countywide. It's through a national program using local ties. News 10's Lindsay Yates was there as meals were distributed. She has more on how this new program is benefiting local families. On Saturday morning, Vicki Downing arrives at Grace Chapel in Brazil to pick up her food box. It's not hard to fix. The flavor is really good and for you get a nice size meal. Inside is enough food for multiple meals and healthy ones. It is very healthy. I mean, you get your meat, your potatoes, your vegetable. And the best part, Downing is spending nearly half of what she would at the grocery store, with an average box costing only $39. I've been off um, for surgery on my arm, and so I get disability or short term disability for the time being. So this has helped our grocery budget a lot since I've been off. It's called Smart Choice Food, a national food distributor that provides grocery relief through host sites like Grace Chapel. We have a menu that comes out once a month and that um, they able to come in on Monday nights um, on a certain date and time and they can order any of the boxes that they want to purchase. Wise felt a personal need to bring this program to Clay County. I was recently single and raising two boys and I was actually, um, there was two other programs in the community. Um, which I reached out to, but they no longer do the program. Now Wise hopes to give back by filling a gap. Started the program out of my need, and then I got thinking um, there might be other people in the community that might, you know, need some help too. They are currently distributing more than 60 boxes, but they want others to make the smart choice. It's amazing. It's a godsend. In Clay County, I'm Lindsay Yates, News 10. Now this program also accepts food stamps, so if you want to know more about the Smart Choice Food Program, you can head over to our website, that's WTHITV.com.